Oh, I'm getting sucked up to a different planet. Whoa, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. He looks like those old Rankin and Bass stop-motion models. Crazy with his eyes. Ew, it's not, it's just, it's just freaky. Some wood. What is that? Look outside. No. We're not going to the attic. We're not going in there. Kitchen. Yeah, that's where it's at. I can take the heat. Zoom in. The smooth camera transitions are a very cool feature. Uh, what can I click on? Stew! Stew! Oh, she did most of it. I mean, okay, so I, I was a little harsh. If all it took was putting the stew on the stove, I mean, you did a good, you did, yeah. You just forgot to start the timer. That's fine. That's fine. Now that I've got supper cooking, I should go get Dad from the garage. Oh, first puzzle down. Actually, second puzzle, I guess, after that rubber hose. I am so good at video games. I actually really like their wallpaper. I'm not sure why. Let me guess. Okay, the aliens are here. Mom's abducted or something. I don't see anyone in there. Or is dad abducted? I'm getting chills. I'm making myself get chills over nothing. Like a sap. Did you go in? Okay. Took a while to load, did you? What? They left without me, those pieces of crap. The sound of water floods the senses, washing away an old reality, leaving behind only the shell of Ira's former life. Very Twilight Zone. Okay, it's kind of a cool twist, or kind of just a cool thing to happen. Memories ring out like echoes, fading in a slow procession of years gone by. The past decays, and the future remains unseen, time pressing forward blindly, unaware of its mortal passengers. The flow of hours turning into decades carries Ira down its twisting streams. So Ira's like a Time Lord, or a, a person with inherent time travel capabilities. Oh, Mars. It carries his father to distant, to distant Martian mines. Tharsis Fields. That's a real place on Mars. It swept, it sweeps up his mother, his home, and his bearing. Or is this an actual flood as well? Or is this, is this gonna be the flood of time, right? Is we're talking about just the flood of time? And it carries Ira to places he has never known. Like what? Like the inside of a garage again? Ira finds what feels like stability, washing ashore on the rigidness of a moment, lost and alone. Okay, so here I am, in my mind perhaps. But a voice rises from within. It draws him back into the house like a sign of hope to the murkiness of his real of this reality. This isn't a house, it's all a garage. We've been over this game. Okay, what's in here? Why do we have to leave, I wonder? The call grows louder, guiding Ira. Dang it! It's guiding me somewhere. Let's see where it's guiding me. I don't feel very guided. Why is that darker? There where a rug used to be, perhaps? Okay, we're going to the attic. I'm assuming it's guiding me to the attic. The inner voice is clear now. It draws Ira up the stairs, promising escape. From what? From this memory? A familiar feeling comes with the attic's stale air, but it is fleeting. Oh, this is a cool little setup. Radio. Radio. One of my favorite songs of all time, Mexican Radio by Wall of Voodoo. Interesting. Lithic. The lithic system. Lithic symbols. Interesting. A distant voice rises through the radio's static, its tone familiar, but the words too muffled to make out. Is it my father? Father! Speak to me! The sound is barely audible, but Ira finds comfort in the noise beneath the static. I can't hear it. Closing his eyes, Ira focuses on the voice. Words reveal themselves. How can we know where we have been? That one. Only by looking backwards. Sure. It is where we have all come from. That much is true. But knowing what has been is not knowing at all. It's knowing... It's knowing... It's not, it's not knowing all. I wouldn't say it's not knowing at all. Do you know where you will be? Let me go with this one. Nope. Nothing is certain. No way is that. Yep. Let's get one. Your perspective is flawed, but you must know that. Uh, uh, 
screw you, buddy. You wouldn't have come otherwise. You couldn't have come. Do you know where you are? I don't actually. Of course, you couldn't know, could you? Not in this way. What way? Do you think by being vague you're being clever? Because you're not. Wake up. Okay, of course. It's all a dream. We knew this. Oh, this is cool looking. I like that guy's got rockets for legs. Oh. That's a little more sinister. I like the mix of like Stonehenge and tech. That's cool. So it's a cool that's a cool visual. That's that little room. I like that a lot for some reason. Ira's mind slips through the years, escaping time caught up in the void. Okay, so oh I'm on the pilgrim ship, are I? Aren't I? But the mind reemerges, calling back into the slow march of time after years of suspension. I'm Philip J. Fry. Ira's head throbs with pain. He can barely focus on a single thought. The room is familiar, but it is a distant memory. His mind is unable to recall why he knows the place or when he has been here. That yeah, seems like some faulty uh, sleep pod, then. Probably shouldn't mess with your mind quite that severely. Ideally. Initializing power up sequence errors 2932-3402 detected attempting bypass of faulty systems method failed. Please contact administrator. The elevator's power returns a crack of switch from above. Life returning to the terminal's dusty speakers. A voice emerges through the static. Cave Johnson here. <laughs> these r these rats again destroy my ship wire by wire. Back vermin flee from my the sound of my voice. I just repaired this unit, you miserable rodents. Although this is the first time the rats have powered up any systems, that is fascinating. Computer log, record event on arrival to the lithic system plus 1082. Rats have transitioned from wire chewing to attempts at utilizing ship systems. Motivation unknown. Um, hello. Is there someone down there? You're not a rat at all. The ship's logs show that all the stasis pods gave out ages ago. It's a miracle the crew is not dead. Please excuse my informality. Allow me to introduce myself. This is your acting captain, assumed commander of the Holocene 2, the master of this vessel. It's good to have you in my service. It's good to have anyone in my service, actually. How can I get out of here? Uh, slow down now. Attempt to remain calm, crewman. You are perfectly safe. There is no need to panic. You may be experiencing side effects from stasis. Are you feeling ill? How do you describe your current condition? I'm fine. Can you help me out of here or not? I like your spirit, crewman. You've been in stasis longer than the recommended recommended duration, so there may be some possible symptoms. Please feel free to report any feelings of nausea, increased heart rate, hallucinations, or the sensation of death. Given our situation, I'm clearing you for duty. Congratulations. You'll have some time catching up to do, especially after the incident. So you'll have some. Uh, but I'm sure you'll rise to the occasion. What incident? That's a good question. And there's one option, so that's good. Ah, yes. Day one of, the, of arrival to the lithic system. The ship's automated systems were compromised. The system is flooded with electromagnetic interference, which wreaked havoc on the electrical grid. By the time I assumed the role of captain, the stasis chambers had succumbed to the surge. But the ship was saved. I took control of navigation manually, just in time, too. Our mission shall continue, though we may be delayed by the inconvenient mass loss of life among the crew. But you're here now. You are undoubtedly in a state of great confusion. Allow me to reacquaint you with the Holocene 2. Um, what is our mission, I wonder? How did I get in this ship? As you can see, Stasis pods will not be in short supply. Yeah, goody. What can we do with these, I wonder? Though their occupants will need removal. I can't imagine that will be pl a pleasant task. That the rats have their way. I'm kidding. At least we'll be making good use of the airlock. Ha ha ha! Ooh. Welcome to the greenhouse level, where your stress will melt away as you watch the fruits of your labor grow and propagate. Speaking of which, you've been promoted to head botanist. What within the recent loss of the entire biology department? Congratulations. Don't be intimidated by the state of the place. I trust that you'll be able to get things in good order in no time. 
I would suggest making it a priority, though. Most of the food stores were vented into space four weeks ago. Why? We're in the lithic system. Yes. Moving along. Interesting. I bet you could have lost this power in the future. Oh, this isn't the future, this is 1932. Although now it's probably... Sometime later. This is 1932 tech is the point. Science! Welcome to the laboratory level. This is a research vessel after all. State-of-the-art equipment should make light work of uncovering the many secrets of the lithic system. I can't seem to locate your scientific background in your file, but no matter. Take some time to familiarize yourself with this lab. Make sure- make yourself comfortable, and you should be ready to assume the position of a head researcher. Again, congratulations. Though I really must insist that you don't touch the particle accelerator before reading the manual. Even then, please don't touch the particle accelerator. Why are you showing this to me? Don't worry about taking it all in at once. I have several volumes of system manuals somewhere. You'll get there eventually. To the next level! Hi-ho, silver away! Ooh, that's a tanning salon level. That's the... Star Child level. Ah, my pride and joy, the heart of my ship, the engine's core. At my disposal here is the power to bridge the stars, travel vast distances at great speed. It's a brilliant sphere. To conquer the expanses, the power would corrupt the mind of a, of a lesser captain. But I assure you, you're in good hands. Just look at it. Take its awe-striking potential. This is actually several pay grades above your clearance level. Why am I allowing you to see this? As your captain, I order you to erase your memories of this place. Do you even know what you're saying? Of course! Our journey is nearing its end. You're about to enter the upper deck of the Holocene 2. Boom, upper decker. Let's watch, um, I don't know, the historical documents. This is the, this is the 1,082nd day in orbit of Hermes on the outer rim of the lithic system. This is our designated rendezvous point with the crew of the Holocene. Protocol dictates we await docking instructions from the crew on the surface, which has yet to arrive. They're all dead. What are you? Once again, I am the commander of this vessel, captain of the Holocene 2, but I suppose that's not what you mean. What I am is the Z120 automated control system for the Holocene 2. Okay, you're a robot. I've been doing the wrong voice. Great. You're just a computer? Well, yes, that is true, but I am fully capable of fulfilling my duties despite my limited physical form. Besides, crewman, with you here, the manifest has doubled. Now our mission is sure to succeed. What is the mission? Remind me. Jog my memory. I could walk around. Excellent. The bridge interface. Just what I was hoping to be able to click on. I'm going to choose the bridge interface. I was inundated with options there. I'm glad I wasn't. Hmm, let me hit buttons at random. I realize... I'm going to switch voices. I realize you're curious, but please try not to break anything. He's British now. Okay? The robot is British. The computer. Loading console systems. Communications. In the static, a sound emerges. A sound that will still that was still ringing in the back of his mind. It flows through Ira's body. That interference has been flooding all of the standard radio channels since we arrived. It has been made maintaining ship controls something of a challenge. The worst part has been maintaining a stable orbit. Our sensors required radical adjustment to make any sense of navigation readouts. It also may be what killed everyone. I heard this sound in a dream just before I was revived. It's true, actually. Quite impossible. Dreaming cannot occur in stasis. Dreams occur over time. Stasis functions because of principles of subnuclear frequencies. Surely you see the ridicu ridiculousness of the notion? The signal is localized to the lithic system, and you only just woke from stasis. You could not feasibly recognize this sound. You say stasis or stasis? I say stasis. Perhaps you're not rehearing. Perhaps you're not hearing the signal clearly. Allow me to amplify the receiver. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's gonna drive me crazy. Drop the base. Apparently. The interference has caused another power surge! Life support has gone critical! We need to evacuate! You idiot! The lander craft are through the starboard hatch. 
There's one lander ready as functional. It should be able to access these doors. Don't waste time. Atmosphere could vent at any moment. Run the hall. I'll choose that option. Ow, oh, right into the steam. My face is burned. I'm accessing the door's controls. Almost there. Almost there. There, the door's open. Run. Action packed running sequence. I like the over the shoulder camera. I have no controls right now, though, so it's purely cinematic. Which is fine. What do we got? We're gonna land on Hermes. The blue planet. Looks like a Lambda class shuttle. Couldn't be. The system's interference is blocking planetary transmissions. I'm scanning the surface for signs of settlements. I mean, graves? We're descending too fast. We need to decrease our speed. Uh, if you change the angle too much, we could skip off the, inf of the, of the atmosphere. Brace through impact! Or burn up. Angles and entering atmospheres are very tricky things. If you care about safety. If you don't care about safety, then uh, they're significantly less tricky. I have the black long pop. The Washington Monument. You blew it up, you maniacs! Oh, it's like an oil rig. Oh god, it's just like Dear Esther. Gosh. Diggity dang. Act 1, Pilgrimage. So that was the end of the demo. You called it a point and click adventure, which I suppose is technically strictly true. Uh, however, the baggage associated with that classification usually implies some degree of puzzle, which this demo had precisely zero of. Um, so, I still really like the look, and I think the story has promise. It definitely is interesting. Um, uh, honestly, the only thing holding me back is a uh, kind of like, it has the same really stilted conversation, full and non sequitur type conversation trees that um, Kentucky Route Zero had. So I will look into this. Right now, I'm not giving it my seal of approval, but I completely encourage you guys to check it out for yourselves if you enjoyed this. Or play it for yourself. The demo is free. Follow the link in the description below. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Signature catchphrase.